You got some country shit right there, boy. Welcome back to On The Gas Show. We are back with another video. And today, we're dropping these trucks off. Well, not this one, but we're dropping off the Takashi. We did a badass burnout last night. to the channel we can see more cool stuff like that besides that we got a lot of giveaways bro we got truck giveaways we got money giveaways we're right here in pasadena dropping off the burnout trucks because we are getting ready for west texas truck show fest my boy couldn't make a longer name west texas truck show fest august 20th in odessa texas million area west texas it's going yeah. down so y'all make sure to pull up this is the first time that we do actually go to west texas for an event if you're in the west texas area what's around there so if you're in el paso, paso. odessa midland new mexico if you're on that area y'all make sure to pull up we are taking the burnout trucks we might take a race truck we don't know maybe because after that we're going to california i'm not going to tell you why but we're going to California and we're going to West Texas. It's going to be a lot of fun. Last night we had a little too much fun. We did a bunch of burnouts for my boy Lawrence. Up in the skies. He likes doing burnouts, so that's what we did yesterday. But we are trying to get these trucks ready for that big show coming up in August 20. The motor is good, I think. I mean, this motor has been holding up for a while now, Frank. I don't know. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. It's a ticking time bomb. Yeah, but so, so far, it's been doing good. So we brought it over here at uh, Pasadena. The guys are just going to just make sure everything's good. We still have compression. We still have a little bit of oil pressure. Make sure all the spark plugs are good. Maybe do an oil change. Because, I mean, we bit the shit out of it yesterday. Besides that, we bit the shit out of it in the valley. Right here over there, imagining racing and shit. <laughs> bro, this ain't your truck, though. Ready, bro. You like that shit or what? I'm, um, okay. Boom. Oh, there you go. Boom. But it's, it's it's weird, bro, because you, you shake like you sh like he shakes. He's shaking. Why? What do you shake? I don't know. There's something wrong with me, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Everything's wrong with you. Some of them drugs. Kids, do not do drugs back at home. Oh yeah. Oh, damn, it's hot as fuck in here. Yeah, it might be a little hot, bro. I'm gonna turn the AC on. Does it have AC? Yeah, it's gonna. We just need to put one more fitting on there. It'll be good. There we go. Down. It's pretty cool how the how we made, you guys made it work with the steering column. Yeah, yeah. So everything still goes up and yeah, down. Yeah, so it still go. Okay. Oh yeah. I also pulled a little thing. I gotta put the little plastic, but I pulled the, the original too, so okay. nobody gets confused. Yeah, yeah. So here it is, guys. We got the steering wheel mounted. A scramble slash bunt and it'll be the trans brake. Okay. Nice. Does it work already? Yeah. So we are getting ready. We're dropping this thing off. Make sure everything's good. This one we were having issues with it. I think the sparks, the spark plugs might be going out. Also, we added some extra fans on that one to cool it down. One of the fans went out. So we're dropping everything off here at Pasadena. Like I said, August the 20th on Saturday, West Texas Truck Showdown Fest. No. West Texas Truck yeah, Show yeah. Fest is going down August the 20th. It's time to go into that one. Tiny is gonna be there. So it's gonna be actually Alex is driving. I don't know who's driving with you. Probably, you know, um, Wakala. Wakala, <laughs> maybe Buffalo. It's me and Frank for sure. Your boy Tiny's gonna be out there. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. So y'all make sure to pull up. Yeah, Tito's gonna be out there. So y'all make sure to pull up. We got some exciting news today. We did get a brand new starter pack truck giveaway. I bet you guys weren't expecting that. It's at the shop. We're dropping these things off right now. We're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna show you guys what we got. So let's roll. Let them know. Holly, Holly, the Holly killer shit, bro. Oh yeah. Let them know, bro. Later, bro. I'll see you next time. I 
want to present to you the new starter pack truck build Z71 edition and we got $15,000 to get it. Come on. Alright guys, so this is a 2001 Silverado 4x4. This truck is just like the Crawfish that we got, the fast ass truck that we got. It's actually Frank's favorite body style because Frank likes the bubble eye. Yeah, at one point I wanted to get a 99. I wanted to do that to a race truck. I wanted to build a 99 race truck just because I heard they were the lightest ones. Yes, they are. This front end right here is a 99 to 2002, right? 2002. 99, 2002, and then 2003 to all the way to 2006, maybe even 2007 classic. They come with the different front end, which is the square front end, kind of like the one on the Holly Crawfish, the OG Brownie, a little Uzi. That's the Cat Eye front end. This is the bubble light. They call these the bubble light. We actually found this pretty clean truck. It's actually a badass single cab. It has a 4x4 button, just like the Crawfish. This paint job is pretty much brand new. We bought this truck. The guy said he just had painted it. Of course, we're gonna change it up. What's the first thing that we do on the the trucks that we buy color match we're gonna color match it good thing this one already has tint this is a nice black truck it's a really nice clean truck too if y'all check out the interior we actually got some new lights for it too i mean this body style it actually looks similar to the cat eyes except these seats are a little different so we'll be changing the seats the cluster is different too we are getting a cluster we are getting custom seats we are getting a sound system on this one. Of course, we're gonna get some nice door panels. My boy Manny at Custom Ten and Arms is gonna hook us up with that. Now, remember, this truck is not gonna be lowered. This truck actually already has a lift kit right now. Probably like a rough country, fat tech, one of those. Yeah, it's probably like a four to five inches. This truck, we do need some wheels, so comment down below. Either we should go with 22s, 24s, 33s, or 35s. And then once we're done with this truck, we're gonna give it away in two weeks. And we have $15,000. Let's start off with the 2001 build. We do need a bed liner. The bed is pretty clean, but we do need a bed liner. Of course, we need a color match. This one already has color match handles. This trim right here, I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. Not on this body style. Uh, I think it should be looking like a white boy truck. The cat eyes, they come with a trim and it usually comes just on the door, but this is an older model, 9902. This one has a trim and it's a little longer than the usual. So it has an extra trim right here and the trim on the bed. And I think on my liking, it kills it. We might take it off. We might just leave the one at the door. I don't know. Comment down below. We will be color matching the mirrors. We will be color matching this whole front end. It has brand new lights. I kind of like the smoke lights deal. So we'll leave that. We'll color match the grill, color match the chrome, maybe even paint this one. Like I said, overall, it's a clean truck, Z71. These trucks are really, really hard to find. We got lucky and we found this one. This one's a pretty clean truck. We're going to try to see if it does burnouts. And it's also a 5.3. It is a 5.3. Yeah. Of course, we'll do like long tube headers. We are going to do the five first steps that you do when you buy you a single cap 4x4. And that's what we do. We're going to show you guys what's the first steps that to do. And we are going to do it right now. Not right now, but we are going to get wheels. We are going to get color match, sound system, exhaust. We're going to do the whole nine yards. And we have $15,000. So we got to be smart about it. Last time that we had a starter pack, it was a 2004 model. Similar to this one, it wasn't 4x4. We added a cam. We added a exhaust, we added a color match, bed liner, we tuned it. We only had $10,000. Everything is so expensive right now that we gotta be smart about our choices. Since this is a lifted truck and we have to get big wheels, bigger tires, that's why we have a bigger budget, which is $15,000. Now we're gonna try to see if this truck does donuts. You ready, Alex? I'm, I'm getting on? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> stand in the middle. You don't wanna ride in the back, bro? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'll fly out. <laughs> <laughs> it's bouncy, huh? Yeah, it's so fucking high. You're gonna flip me and you're gonna have a trouble for $15. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you threw a bunch of rocks! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Everybody okay? Yes. You know, we're not doing much performance on this truck since it's a lifted truck. We're gonna try to go more for the looks. Some nice wheels, like I said, some color match, a badass sound system, and just, you know, give it on the gas sauce. We still got that other giveaway with the 24 by 15, so y'all make sure to shop on the gas.com. Get your entries. Every ten dollars you spend is one entry. And remember, we still got the 2020 Big diesel. We're gonna start that giveaway here pretty soon. 
two weeks. It's gonna be a two week giveaway. We are doing a delete, we are doing starlights. So y'all stay tuned because we're gonna take it to the shops, get that done, and then once that's done, it's ready to go. What else we got? Where are we doing any testing? Yeah, so probably uh, next week, we're gonna take out crawfish, test it on the street. We're gonna take out brownies and test it on the 427 Big Turbo yeah. and go from there. Not only that, but we are going to the Valley this weekend. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna get an update on the OG truck, on the Blue SS clone that we got. We're also picking up the 350 Sport and my boy Roberto at the other shop did a badass sound system. Remember, they broke into a shop. They stole the radio on my GMC Turbo Sierra. Well, we got a radio for that one already installed. It's banging, it's sounding good. That one's still in the valley. So y'all stay tuned. We got some badass content coming up. We're gonna race Alex on the way up. With the starter pack truck. Hold on, hold on. I got a nine up, I got a nine up. All right, hold on, let me put the four by four. Remember guys, this truck is a four by four. That's my mind. So pretty much I feel like I'm in crawfish right now. Four high. Go more on that side, bro. I don't want to run over you. Oh! <laughs> I <ain't> got shit. <laughs> this motherfucker got us. We were spinning. <laughs> so much for the 4x4, bro. Right? Alright, let's put it back on two-wheel drive. I mean, for what it is. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Nice full interior. Yeah. The seats actually feel pretty good. They're like almost like suede, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know it's suede, but suede. in the valley they say suede. So, okay, this truck does have limited slip. That's what it's called. See, get my way. See, get my head like the limited slip because it grabs and then it lets go and get grabs. I'm gonna do it again on the way back. You wanna do it there or what? I'm gonna do it over there. Why does everything that we grab, bro, we gonna fuck, we wanna fuck it up? Like, I feel like everything that I touch, I wanna break, bro. It's, I think I have a problem. I think you have a big problem, bro. <laughs> everything that I drive, I wanna like, just go balls out, you know? Like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everything just gets molested. one 5.3 and this truck is not tuned it doesn't have no performance parts but it will when i say we're not going to make a performance i mean we're not going to put a cam kit we might do like a little ente we might do like a cold air ente we will do like long tube headers just so it can wake up just a little bit more because we will have big tires on this truck so it needs to actually wake up a little bit better but it's not bad for 33s it's not too bad but we are going to the valley this weekend we will be getting an update on the og truck the blue ss clone We've been building that truck for over a year. I know it's been forever, guys. It was supposed to be a quick rebuild, but it's just taking too long. I already told Gaps. The truck is actually at Gaps right now with Mr. Gaps. The truck was at the suspension shop. We did add airbags in the rear. We did add big brakes all the way around. We did power code to the suspension, and we will be picking up two more trucks. But we have a surprise, so y'all wanna stay tuned for that. It's happening this weekend. Right now we're heading back to the shop. I want to try it out in this ditch, bro. What ditch? Oh, this little one right here? Yeah. You gonna go? Yeah, you're fine. No. You can do a lot of things with when you got a 4x4, bro. Yeah. You can it's... go anywhere, bro. You so can't no... do none of this stuff when you have a drop truck. Oh, no, not at all. This is even funner. <laughs> like crawling and shit? Yeah, and... like crawling on shit. <laughs> Ooh, oh, we're a little sideways, bro. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Oh yeah, we rock crawling right now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's close to the. Yeah, it's close to that pole. Watch this. Watch this yellow one right here. Oh yeah. Oh. This is 
so fun. Let me get it from the outside now. Right. On the way back. sideways. We made it back in one piece. Can't give him anything that actually does donuts. Yeah. He's been on in the truck one hour. I just told him, I feel like I'm gonna break everything that I drive. <laughs> this dude really pushes it to the limit. That's the thing, you gotta put it to the test. If it survives, hey, they deserve it. If it's gonna break, it's gonna break under my hands. Once we do the giveaway on this truck, I don't want the winner to break it on the first First time that he takes it to the mud pit or whatever. Yeah, because he's like, oh, the other guys, guys took it to their ditch. Of course. He's going to take it to of his course. ditch. So it's going to work. It's going to last. If it's going to break, it should break right now. And if it breaks, we will fix it. And then once the winner picks it up, it's going to be 100. The lens is dirty, Frank. Yeah, bro, you threw a bunch of dirt. <laughs> look, look, at, look at it this way. If you win the truck, you get a proven truck. Yeah, for sure. What's up, Do you like it or what? Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun truck. I ain't going to lie. Bro, you're sweaty. Bro, I was running up that hill, bro. Oh, you sure were. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for today. Remember, save the date, August the 20th. Where are we going, friend? Because my boy has a long ass name. Yeah, so it's gonna be in Odessa, Texas, West Texas Truck Show Fest. It's going down. We will be taking Takashi. We will be taking Black China. And maybe we will take some race trucks because after that, we're going to California. So that's day two for that. August 20, save the date, it's going down. We will be putting a show in the burnout pit. Also, I hope y'all like the new starter pack truck build. That's gonna be the starter pack 4x4 edition Z71 style. We do have $15,000. Comment down below, let us know what we should do first. Abo Perrio said we should do color match. Hey, gotta go to the paint. Oh, he's already smoking weed. He's already smoking, bro. We will be doing color match, big wheels, big tires, all that nice stuff. Comment down below. Let us know what wheels, what style, what size. I mean, because at the end of the day, it's going to be one of you guys taking this truck home. This truck is going to be built by you guys. So y'all make sure to comment down below. Y'all make sure to be subscribed because we do got some. We ain't got no giveaways in here. So remember, every $10 you spend will get you one entry to that badass giveaway truck. It ends September. September 18. September 18 is the final day for that truck. And remember, we still got the 2020 diesel Duramax. We will be giving that truck away in two weeks. First, we will delete it. And of course, we, we got to add a little bit more on the gas touch. So we're gonna do the starlights. We will be deleting that truck. There's gonna be no cash option on that truck. It's gonna be two weeks. But remember, September 18 is the deadline for that one. And y'all stay tuned for this one. And that's it. <laughs>